stay there. And they stay there. And they stay there. What you think I'm high for? Every summer drop mode. Hits to make my stock go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Slow Jam Pal here, the DJ Slow Jam Pal Experience, here to discuss networking 101. Now, the reason why I felt that I needed to do a video on networking 101 and not 102, 103, or what have you is because I I have been experiencing a lot of recording artists breaking some really basic rules. So I'm here to discuss how you can grow your business, how you can improve on your brand uh, through networking. It's going to be a very short video, so stay tuned. We're about to go in. Okay, here's what you can do because I'm going to start off with the positives versus the negatives of what I've been seeing for the past couple of uh, weeks, okay? Within networking, the first thing you can possibly do, along with your bag that you're carrying your mixtapes around in, carry some thank you cards with the envelopes with some stamps. Very, very, very important. If you meet someone that, can, that you know that can help uh, boost your career, uh, give you the edge or that can help take you to that next level when you receive their business card send out a thank you letter a handwritten one that's even better or if you cannot do that if you can't let's say you can't afford to uh, buy business cards you can always go to the library with their card and email them a thank you email better yet you can get on your boost mobile phone and and call them and say, hey, listen, DJ Slow Jam Pal, what's going on? I met you yesterday. I just wanted to call and say uh, thank you for taking time out to receive my uh, mixtape or my CD. I just wanted to thank you and see if there's a time where we can get together so I can give you a drop, so I can add value to when you play my song in the club or what have you. Something like that because it adds value. First of all, you're saying thank you. So you're going to stand out in their mind, period. Number two, you call in to see if you can add value to what they're doing, which in turn add value to what you're doing. Number three, you're starting to build a relationship. I don't know how many times I have met recording artists and never, ever heard from them again. And it's sad to say because... I'm a very crucial part in their music business. I'm not just a DJ. I'm a celebrity DJ, and I'm a radio personality. So I'm not saying that to give myself a pat on the back. I'm saying that because if I'm a recording artist and I met a celebrity DJ, or if I met any uh, DJ for that matter who is out working every single week and I gave them my CD, I'm going to want to do a drop. I'm going to want to say thank you to them. I'm going to want to build a, a relationship with them and see if I can add some value. And that's because that's how I operate my business. But these recording artists of today are not doing that. They're not returning phone calls. They're not sending out emails. They're not sending out thank you letters. Nothing. Why? What is going on with you people? Listen, it's really, really, really simple. We're going to talk about the next part in part two. Stay tuned.